Hi everyone, welcome back to Howtex. Today we're going to be unboxing the Amazon Tap, which is the Alexa-enabled portable Bluetooth speaker. This is basically the portable version of the Amazon Echo. Open and voila. Here we have the tap with the booklet and the speaker itself, which is not too light. And what else is in the box? So basically a box of accessories. Let's pull this open and we have the charging cradle, which is pretty heavy as well. Uh, it uses actually not inductive charging, but there's actually um, some metal contacts. And this is a standard uh, mini USB like you'd find on a Samsung phone or a lot of older Android phones. A uh, regular USB connector and then the charging brick. This is a 9 watt 5 volt. So this is a standard USB charger as well. Not some kind of high voltage fast charging version. Uh, and then the speaker itself has on the bottom these two rings and so no matter what orientation you have it should line up. So it's not inductive charging, but it is kind of an omnidirectional contact charging. And then the cable plugs in here. On the back, we have, uh, should be the same connector, I guess for direct charging, or is it for connecting uh, data cables? And we also have an output for uh, line out and power and Bluetooth is actually is a button. Oh, and we now we've turned it on. Bluetooth pairing mode is off. Um, on the front we have uh, the, I guess this is the microphone on and off button. So you use that to actually uh, activate it. Because this is wireless, it doesn't keep the microphone on all the time. So unless you turn it on uh, in the settings, you have to touch this to activate Alexa. And on the top we have basically the standard media player type, uh, you know, this is the same thing you find on most portable Bluetooth speakers, basically play, pause, forward, back, and then volume up and down. It has some lights, and as I increase the volume, the actual sound, the click sound goes up and down. So uh, let's get the app powered up, and then we'll try to pair everything and get it working. Okay, so I've got this thing connected up to uh, its charging base and uh, one cool thing I found out already is if you press the plus and minus volume buttons on the top, it actually will give you the uh, battery level. The battery is at about 90%. And this goes up pretty fast. It lists it out every 5%, so uh, maybe about 10 minutes ago it was at 85. So it's uh, pretty quick. Maybe it takes about an hour to go all the way from 10 or 20 percent. So uh, let's give this guy a try. Uh, so first of all, you want to go to the Amazon Alexa app. Uh, so if you haven't downloaded it yet, just do a search for it or go to the iTunes store um, and you can download it. Uh, in this case, the key thing is it's not available in every country. I'm in Hong Kong right now, but it's not in the Hong Kong Apple Store, so you need to use a uh, US or maybe UK and probably some other countries work also. Use an iTunes ID from those countries to be able to access it. If you're on uh, Android, it's probably uh, similar, um, and it also works on the uh, Amazon Fire OS. So let's open up the app, and the first thing it asks you to do is actually log into your Amazon ID. I've already actually done it, so let's begin the setup and it asks you to select which uh, device you have for Alexa. So we have a tap, and then you select the language, and now you have to set up the Wi-Fi. And so it should tell you to wait for the orange lights. So let's try, I don't see the orange lights. Okay, press the Wi-Fi Bluetooth button for five seconds. So there's a button here on the back. So this guy's orange, um, and then there's this Bluetooth button here. So to start Wi-Fi setup, Press and hold the Wi-Fi blue button for uh, five seconds. So let's give that a try. One, two, three, four, five. 
Now in setup mode. Ah, okay. Follow the instructions in your Alexa app. So here we go. Ah, here we go. Now we have some orange lights. So let's continue. Uh, now you have to actually go to the phone settings and find the correct uh, Wi-Fi network that this thing has. So let's go there and I've got it open already. Oh, here we go. Okay, so Amazon 15Q and it's no password. You've connected to tap. Go ahead and finish the setup in your Alexa app. Okay, here we go. So now it sees all of our networks that are present here. Once we have it typed in, let's connect. Okay, so now this thing is connected to Wi-Fi. You can see that the uh, network connection on this phone dropped out, so it's no longer connected to this, and it just reconnected to the, uh, to the room's Wi-Fi. And so now let's continue. And we have an intro. Okay, let's take, take a look, quick look. Let's take a quick tour of your new Amazon tab. So for the music services, unfortunately, it looks like it can't just get the music straight off of your phone. You can also still use this as a Bluetooth speaker. Okay, so let's try to play some music uh, through Bluetooth because we can't do it directly through Alexa. So uh, you have to go through here and do sharing and let's try Amazon Tap. So I guess in this case, the uh, the normal controls for a Bluetooth speaker work right now. And again, this is a nice, pretty decent sounding portable speaker. It's a so I don't want to get any copyright violations, so let's pause that right now. Um, so I guess that's the best way you can play music. Let's see if I can access it at all through Alexa. Alexa, play music on my phone. I can't find any music in your library. Alexa, play Bluetooth music. There's already a connected Bluetooth device. Your music on your phone um, is definitely missing out on something. Um, so for, especially for people who have an Android phone or an iPhone, uh, maybe you have thousands of songs you've already bought from iTunes. It would be cool if you could access these in a way that would be better than you can already do through a Bluetooth speaker or some other common, uh, you know, uh, home accessory. Okay, those are some of the basics on setting up the Amazon Tap. In our next video, we'll demonstrate some of the capabilities of Alexa. Be sure to check that out. If you have any questions, please leave a comment and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. See you next time. The tap with the booklet and the speaker itself which is not too light.